What is up guys? It is the Turtle Girl. Welcome to the channel or welcome back to the channel. Today we're tackling the question of whether or not you need to cycle your turtle tank prior to getting a turtle. So if you're familiar with fish tanks, you're probably familiar with the concept of cycling your aquarium, aka getting it set up like a month beforehand and then putting in some food or an ammonia source or just putting fish in there that will kind of help the tank mature and kickstart the nitrogen cycle, which is the process by which ammonia, nitrite, and nitrate is broken down. The nitrogen cycle is really an integral part in an aquarium system to make sure that waste is being processed and that your fish are not essentially poisoning themselves with their own poop and their own waste. Turtles, however, although they are aquatic, they're still a little bit different in that they are not as sensitive to the water quality. However, they are also susceptible to things like shell rot, fungal infections, things of the sort. So people often wonder, do I need to cycle a turtle tank before I put the turtle in? Kind of like I would do with fish. My short answer to this is no, you don't have to cycle your turtle tank. Uh, but the long answer to kind of elaborate on the reason why you don't have to is because like I said, turtles are not fish, they don't have the same kind of relationship with the water that the fish do. I guess that's kind of a weird word to use, but basically fish are breathing it, fish are sensitive. Turtles, on the other hand, they can leave the water if necessary. They don't breathe the water through their gills. They have this tough exterior. And while poor water quality can affect their health long-term, so like in the instance you don't have a good filter or you just don't do water changes, period, then yes, that can be detrimental to their health. But in the case of cycling a tank, your turtle should be able to adapt to that and handle it just fine. My best advice is just stay on top of water changes and always be observing your turtle's behavior. If they seem sluggish, if something seems wrong, then take a closer look at that, do some water changes. But in my opinion, cycling the tank prior to getting the turtle is not really necessary. It's just something that'll happen once you put livestock into the tank. I will say that while you don't have to cycle the tank, it is nice to have the tank actually set up and running prior to getting the turtle. So you don't necessarily have to add fish food or other fish to the tank prior to getting the turtle, but having the tank set up with the filter running before the turtle is always a very good practice. Just have it running for a couple days to make sure the filter is going, to make sure your lights are all working prior to getting the animal so you're not scrambling once you actually have the turtle in your possession. Now, that being said, it is still really good to be aware of what is going on in your aquarium. So even if you don't have to cycle the tank prior to getting the turtle, I would still suggest getting some kind of test strip or test kit. You can see they make them in strip form like this. This kind, you just dip it in the water and it takes less than five minutes to see the parameters of your tank. This reads multiple things. I think nitrite, nitrate, and pH, KH, hardness. If you're not familiar with all of that, don't worry too much. There's lots of information on the internet about the different water parameters and how you can manage those. You can also use liquid test kits and these are supposedly more accurate, but strips are easier and faster. So you can do some more research on that. Either way, it's still really good to know what's going on in your aquarium. Once you get the turtle, you're gonna wanna know your nitrite, nitrate levels, at least for the first little bit, so that you can get onto a good water change schedule that's keeping the tank balanced. So if you need test kits, I will have those linked in the description below. And if you purchase those links, you are helping to support the channel. So thanks in advance for that. So I hope that that answers the question of whether or not you need to cycle the turtle tank prior to getting a turtle. Really the most important thing is that you're just staying on top of water changes and having good filtration, but otherwise it's not particularly necessary to cycle the tank prior to getting the turtle. I hope you guys found this video helpful. If you did, feel free to drop a thumbs up down below. Subscribe if you haven't already, and I will see you all next Friday. Have a totally awesome day. Bye!